and these eagles looking like they want to soar into the nest at a B site instantly. Smoke out on short is going to isolate. They are playing the retake on B. Now the thing is about this retake setup, which I'm not a huge fan of, is they don't have a kit. They do have two sets of dualies dropped though onto Shock and Neo Frag. And he's just going to spam it right through the smoke. Zedko drops to one flat row. So now it's the four versus five retake without a kit. Sinner's not in a good spot right now, but that's a good response as Neo Frag lands on with the dualies. They're pushing up short, and oh, the second set of dualies not going to work out. Two of them dropping into two versus four, and that is going to be all rig on with a swing out from bench. Three headshots on the Glock as the Bad News Eagles pick up the pistol on the T side. Would have get himself into the server early, Davey. That could be a big problem. This is a problem for the T's, though, as they run through the smoke at B. B6 just sat there with his eagle. Interesting. I mean, look, I try not to be too harsh, too critical. No, He's going to think he has it. He's going to be calling to his teammates that he had the flank, and Shock is going to be in for a shock, as I'm sure the knife is going to come out. <laughs> the right click, the M4 recovered, and Bad News Eagles, they have control of the A site. There's no rotations nearby, because they thought everything was covered. Yeah, this is a logistical nightmare. Oh, a follow-up frag as well. Wow. And Rigon gets one with the Deagle. So if there was a chance of you getting this round back quickly, it's not going to go easily in favor of Sinners. But Neo Frag does get two kills, all on the 2v3. Rotate hell towards CT spawn. And Synopsy, he's had a monstrous round. That's a hat trick for him now. All off the back of getting into the back line, stabbing a man and using his gun to get the round back. Now spawn. The T's are running up through connector. Bordy's peeking it on the scout. That's a tag. Follow-up damage done oh, as well. No. Here we go. They're starting to punish, and it's all going again? wrong. They've answered back again. The 1-1 one, one rounds just keep being traded. Five players stay alive. They recover all of the guns. And now they're going to be running up short, looking for any sort of picks on the connector. And Forcey's the one who finds the opening with the off. And Zedko, he's in ladder. Can he do something big? Gets the first headshot. Neo frags answering, and he's going back for more. Playing inside of the connector smoke. Does he go Ooh. through? Oh, what a shot from GX. It's still a two versus four, but that gives them a chance into this round. Crisp connection from GX. Von Flatro is positioning the AWPA of GX. Deals some damage. Flash around the corner. Von Flatro peeks in off the back of it. Does eventually find the heads of Zedko. And it's down to a tight two on two. Just 13 seconds left on the clock. You've got to get the bomb planted now. They sprint Nade. to the B site. The nade's coming out from B stick. Oh, we just got as it. the bomb goes down. And it's all into the 1v1 where GX hits the shot on B stick. How on earth? Have they ground that round back to a bad news Eagles win? Guys, how did we lose that one? It was such a freebie. They knew exactly where both teams were. They were in the two versus five. This shot here was the one that started Whoa. it. And then one Flatro lurking out A just finds kill after kill. And the fact- There's a lurk coming out from Zedko though on short. He's gonna start to move his way up. He looks like he wants to try and play quite aggressive on this one. He could be walking in to find a pick. Rigon falls towards the site. Gap in the smoke here now, so he spotted Farrah from GX as well. And one by one, they're just securing these kills across the map. Okay. Well, doesn't matter. He is gonna hold on to his Jalil, and now he do. Pop flashes in, it's good. It's blinded him, it's pushed him back. And there is, and it's a Molotov, but it lands on top of the balcony. Shock with the chance to multi-frag, but Sentry's there to trade. The short stunner and Zedko will be able to slay Synopsy. Has to play towards default now. Nade in. That's going to do some damage. Puts him down to 43, but they're running out of time. They have to scale forward and the miss from one flash throw. Zedko gets two, and now it is just GX. He's at the ramp. The bomb's not planted for him, and this will be a sinner's round. Great retake there. Rapid response. Zedko. Oh, we weren't able to find anything. Oh, oh, and that's a big miss for 4C. He drops down out of the window. Teammate's here to support, but he can't get the frag. Zedko finally does. And now Neo frag towards top middle, lands the headshot onto GX. The CTs now, they're going to collapse on this player in underpass. They don't want to let him recover the op. They get the kill, and it looked a little dicey, but right now Sinner's still in control. One Flacho answers one back before Neo frag is there to trade it. Can he make the bread in this round, though? He's going towards CT. And he hits the shot on Neo Frag. He's grabbed the M4 now as well. A minute on the clock. Flash over the top so he can peek back out towards triple. There is a push coming in behind. Looks like he's got enough time to commit to the bomb plant. But it's all on this flank, really. B stick's gonna be aggressing out through Palace. Senery's walking back down. 
suspicious about ramp. He's going to clear it and get in just at the nick of time. 1v2 now. And they're going to expect him in CT spawn. They're not going to expect him ramp. The bomb isn't planted for ramp. There's two CTs there. He does find the headshot onto Zedko. One versus one. The stick is sticking it. He has the time. He's going to run. That'll push him off of it. Oh. And he lands the headshot. Centery with the 3K. The one versus three on the half by. There is three inside of the palace. One towards Rex and Opsi. He thought he found a timing, but Zedko gets it. Molotov is going to be there. Op is posted up. 4C gets the kill onto Juan Flatro. Molotov will push them back. And they're going to have to reset. Centery finds one onto Shock. So that does open up the site a little bit. Now, he's walking the whole way in. He's seen the barrel. He can line up the headshot onto Zedko. Whoa! What? He walks in front of him for no reason. What? He wanted to try and line something up. I guess there was no point behind it. And now, the point is, it's just GX. No way to grab the bomb. No way to get into this round. As he faces, he dies. And that's Sinners with eight. With an orb, don't get me Fair wrong. Fair enough, yeah. <laughs> but he had a he had an M4. Yeah, oh, the double flash and connector's perfect. Neofrag dodges the first. He does get caught Ooh. by the second. And again, it's happening. He's got the deagle. He's close on short. He would have heard the scope. There was a player going out upper B, and he's going to get the flank off on the man in shorts. And off to get the... What is this game, Jack? I don't know. This is, like, the most mental game of Mirage. It just period. This is just weird. Rig on as well. He is on now. <laughs> Actually, though, <laughs> like... Just, what? <laughs> what is happening in this game? Severe. They're not, they, it all depends on if they clear it. He's only half blind. He's still here. He finds the first. Can he find the second? Ooh. No, the flick from Juan Flatro gets the trade, gets the headshot, and he's still going. Finds his second of the round. It's a three versus three again. Oh, oh the timing on that is so tight. They put Forzi on a pedestal. GX looks away. And Forzi, he's going to command control back for the CTs. Juan Flatro's low. 24 HP. Battling behind the bench. Kills Forzi. All on shock. He multi frags as he re enters the site. And they're going to get the round. What the hell, shock? Could be. Synopsis maybe heard him jump up. Not by the looks of it, he can't find the headshots. Lots of damage done to both. 31 and 46 HP. And it is just Zedko. He's inside of the site. The flashes are raining in above him. Can he do something huge? Can he get this multi-frag? Two of them are low. The timing not going to work for him. He flicks back over. And again, a ton of damage done to Sentry, but they just can't find the kill. Molotov burning for Z. Takes a little tag there, but look at the aggression from Synopsy. He's just walking in. He wants to clear this. GX will strike one flat throw with a second frag. None for you, Synopsy, but the round for bad news, Eagles. So it will end. 9-6 at the heart. And they're just going to fight fire with fire here. They're charging in, but he's been blocked. He's got stuck in the window. Synopsy eventually gets out. There's a kill from GX on a B-stick. Shocks is fragged out. Neofrag is gunning awesome kills. Awkward firefight from one flat throw, but Rigon will be able to secure the bag. And he falls down to the three God. on two. Neofrag trying to turn the tide, but he falls. Zedko in the shot. Can he put two CTs in his basket and check out with a round? No, he cannot. GX will kill him. And Bad News Eagles take the pistol for sure. Forward, they do have the man advantage. And Shock actually finds an opsy as well. They're going in. They get that ladder control. The bomb is scaling forward. There's two CTs here, though. The early rotation from Sentry. He does just have the MP9. There's a player boosted in sight. Can Juan Flasho find the impact? Are they going to clear him? That's the big question. They do. Shock swings out, immediately clears the boost, gets the kill, and it's two versus five. No hope for the CTs as Neo Frank finds Sentry. It is just GX, and I say there's no hope. The double spray down. All the, C all the Ts are low, but it's not going to matter. B6 in the back line. The only way that you can make this hero orb lucrative is with this round. He's going to go back over the CT, peek out from shot, find the first. Oh, oh snapshot from Synopsy on a 5-7, and he cuts his way through two of them. If they peek on the CT, GX has to get the kill, oh, but he, got he the misses. Bomb. And he got the bomb. He swung out. He got it. He recovered it. And now the Deagle shot misses from Rigon as well. Zedko's close B, but he's going to run away. And where are they going to reset this? Where are they going to bring this bomb? This is to secure this round. There's the face from Rigon, though. He hits no! the first follow-up frag coming in on the Deagle as well. He's destroying them. And it's
he's just down to Neo Frag in the 1v3. 15 seconds as the bomb gets planted, he's being charged upon. Rigon's running in, he's ready for the scrap in close quarters combat, but he buckles as Neo Frag hits his head. 1v2, holding on, ready for the face from short, peeking in towards sharp. He's timing. about to be backstabbed, but no, he bypasses him. He gets into close E box. Quan Flatro, he's coming up, he's looking for the kills. Neo flicking between both angles, takes the first fight, wins it, but GX replies, and they will get the round. But they came out palace. He was there to trade it very quickly. Speaking of very quickly, Sinners, they're just running out of the A-Halls. Force, he finds the pick onto Juan Flatro. They are in a sight. All five Ts are pushing forward. The op shot's going to tag Synopsy. They would have heard this. And are they going to go for the fight? The flash is in. The kill is there. Synopsy drops. Rigon's rotating through CT. Drops the bomb. Crucially, Molotov on top of it. Now, where is the response? Where is the response from the Ts? They're pushing into jungle. They're spamming out. They haven't been able to find another kill just yet. Two players in CT. Bomb is going to be planted. And oh, he doesn't shoot. Oh, GX. So unlucky. He had the lineup. Doesn't want to give away his positions. So stuff. We're, we're just going to rush out ramp. We're, we're just going to rush out palace. Like, no flashes, nothing. We're just full sending it. Pretty much just a, sort of a standard default as well. The thing is, they did throw that smoke out towards window, but because of this aggression from Rigon, he knows there's nobody there. So they're dedicating to the sites. The smokes are going to come out towards B and does that pull a rotation. Synopsy's not moving. Juan Flasher, I think, spotted them walking out Palace as well, but he's not able to land the shot. Shock drops in with a double headshot. Bomb's going to go down. CT's nowhere to respond. And that is going to be, again, Sinners with control of the A site, the bomb planted, and Bad News Eagles are just going to have to try to save their guns if they can. Shock really was the orbital drop. Shock trooper in that round. He pulled up, dropped down, and fragged them all. Rigon's in a bat line. They don't have a kill. He's going to be walking up. He's trying to go for this. Lines up the first. Oh, a quick oh, flick oh. from 4Z. The Orpa GX slay Zedko. But in the end, you're just doing damage to the economy because this round will not be yours. This is going to be a 14th chiseled in for Sinners. Yeah, and with the money Sinners has, that they don't mind. They'll go for the hunt. It's worth it to just try to take these guns out of their hands. Right across the board. They do like to run the clock down here. This angle from Rigon is going to be perfect, but the swing from Shock makes it so Neofrag can get the trade. Now they're going to be scaling forward. Sentry does get one. He's been tagged down. They've spotted him. They know he's towards the bench. But the question is, where are the rotators? And instead, Forcey finds the headshot onto Sentry. One Flatro spotted. He sees the gun barrel, but he can't go too far forward because look at this. GX sees his gun barrel. Ooh. And one Flatro swings, and he's the one to find the frag. Good kill from Juan. 4Z with nine seconds left. Hits the blink on the Juan. Black throw headshot as well. Just at the last second so he can get the bomb down. GX how oh. to deny it, but he could not. B stick will cover him on a cross and they get it in the 2v1. Peaked anything yet. He is still there. They're all in under though. Oh, and they spot them. They see that they're boosting. Do they expect the third player here? Now they know. They know there's three in the underpass, but can they get the kills? Juan Flatro with the headshot. Shock is responding, but he's been tagged down. Forcey answers back. He's also been tagged down to 50, and we've seen the, the entire battle of this round inside of underpass. Yeah, underpass has become the catacombs of Mirage. Oh, on Flatro as well. It flows on short. That's Senori's position. He smokes back over and faces connector. He's reading it well, but the backstab set up, and Senori will grab it. The 15-10, the game stays on. Can Sinners get stuck into the 26th round? They drive out onto the bomb site. Rigwon will be burnt to life. He's set on fire by Shock's Molotov. And we are into a four on four. B-Stick with a headshot back onto Synopsy. Senori will trade on 4Z. All down to 3v3, big spam from Neo Frag. So GX, he's got a clutch ahead of him. Hits the first shot onto Zedko. Tucks back in as one stay alive. Free face with a UFP. But Neo Frag will live up to his name. Frags them out of Mirage. They get the map pick of the bad news. Eagles under the belt. Need to work on that. Workshop it. Into the game though. The Eagles coming out. Synopsy keeps it up. He's fragging. Shot dead. Another man dead. Dooley's killing everyone. They're all dying. And there he's rushing forward. He wants the fourth and he is able to find it. Four headshots for him with the Dooley's. Forcey gets the flank off. Can he find another one? He can't. GX is the one to get the last frag. Bit of a cheeky maneuver. One man has made his way down secret. Backstab onto Forzi. Zedko flicks with a P250. 
does get one kill, but one flat throw in the elevated angle is flattening them like a rolling pin. They simply didn't have the bodies to get the information. You can see the CTs, they're, they're gonna go aggro. Two towards ramp and two coming through hot. They find the timing. A headshot onto V-Stick, shock answers, but Sentry's there. There's two players inside of Squeaky. They know the aggression's coming out now. Let's go. Good adjustment onto the head of GX, but as he falls, it all goes down to 4Z and the 1v3. Soak in his hand, misses the flick. He tries to adjust so close. Oh, he spots the player back red. He's not able to find the frag. GX sees V-Stick, he gets the kill. There's the second one for Rigon, and it is just the two players left. The high HP players, and the frag in Zedko, they have the guns. They're gonna need to come out ramp. Can they find this opening onto Synopsy? Hits the head of Neo. Frank jumps up on the box as well, but Zedko, he will connect that one. He's in a one on four. No real time for this. Angle's being covered as well, but he does bypass the shot as he drops into the B side. Finding a bomb plant out of this would be lunacy. And luckily enough, rig on towards Decon. De the duo push all the way up through Trophy. So GX is just scoped in already. He's going to stay scoped in to see if he can get a pick into the back. One well, Flatro gets two from inside of the vent. And that's the bomb dropped down as well. Yeah, they tried to pop out. They tried to go down. They are punished for it. Wow. Synopsy drops to B-Stick, but one Flatro immediately swings up and gets the trade. They have an idea. Zed goes over here towards Hell. Does manage to get one back. The trade is in, though. Again, Rigon swings out, gets the headshot. Getting back towards ramp. Behind the box, Rigon's waiting to be the ramp. Controller. At least he gets the kill into the vent finally and reveals his hand. Here comes Rigon. No! What? Rigon! He's running them down at the ramp. And now they have to run into the site. B Stick and Zedko left into the 2v2. Bomb's going to be planted. Molotov thrown onto the back as well. So Zedko, he's got a move. He's low on HP, but he hits his shot on a fadeaway. There's B Stick with a frag on Sennery. And Sinners get their first round. One with Rigon and then make it back to the site. But instead. Bomb makes it towards ramp, and there's 4C. He actually finds one pick onto GX. He knows that one flat is nearby. He did get that first kill through the smoke. Oh, and he's been spotted. They've spotted each other, and 4C wins out again. Now it's Rigon's turn to take him down. And there it is. Two versus three. It's tracks. So two on two. Back towards ramp. This time, Zedko will be able to hit the head of Senery, and Rigon's left in a 1v1. He's fighting behind the box. He's going to peek into it. Beastie gets the shot off. A lot of damage found, but a bit. Ooh, outside cross going to be spotted from GX. One Flatro as well. Shooting through the smoke. They're going to walk up, and they might just clear him. They are going to find the kill. That's the headshot for Forcey. Now, do they expect the second man down here? Rigon tucked away in dark. The off of GX also towards ramp. He peeks out, Ooh. finds a second. Catches him with the nade, flashes in. It's going to full blind him, but he has spotted the player in dark, but it's not going to matter. GX is the one to find the impact. Four kills for him on the op. Us doesn't catch the timing. Player just going to make his way across the back. Red and rig on spots him, lands the tag. Rotations in as Neofrag finds the headshot onto Synopsy. And this round is being opened up now by the Sinners. Rigon answers back. That's the kill on the outside player as they make their way towards ramp. That's the op of GX. And where are they going to go? What is the response going to be for the Sinners here in the three versus three? It is going to be the play out A, but Rigon is already Ooh. rotated, but he drops immediately to shock. Sentry now needs to come up massive. Finds one in the back of B-Stick, but it's still the two versus two. Sentry caught with a nade out, but still is able to dash it out. What? And get the kill onto a shock. So it's just Neo Frag left in a 1v3. Close quarters engagement with the AWP. Nine seconds left. Hits the first. Nearly the second, but Sentry, he denies it. And the game goes 12 to 2. Better question is, where will Bad News Eagles allow them to go? Because at the minute, they're just going to the graveyard. Neo Frag, though, with a great headshot onto Synopsy, tries to command respect back for Sinners in the 15th round. It's down to the 3v3. You've got time to work with. They have the bomb on the back of B-Stick. But Juan Flatro, he's posted up by the window, ready to break the glass in case of an emergency. And the emergency is that they want 13 rounds on the CT side. So we assumed there wasn't gonna be any team there, and there it is. Sentry peeks out, 
Gets the kill onto him. It is just B-Stick. One versus three. Can he be the beast in this one? He's out through the hut. Looking for the players up towards heaven. Molotov is going to isolate. But he comes straight out with the bomb. So he drops 13 to 2. What a half for Bad News Eagles. That frag early. Ooh, tried to time him with a vent. The oh. problem is he goes straight down behind him with a knife out. And soon obviously gets the first frag. Ooh. What a shot from Corsi. Is immediately traded by GX. So we are in the three versus three. You get the lobby control. You push in. Not going to expect you there, but he can't land the shot. Damage is being done, but no kills goes his way. Neofrag now is going to rotate up. They don't have a kit. Post plant's going to be difficult. Flash is going to allow him to scale up the vent, but he actually finds himself. Neofrag gets the headshot with the duelies, and the flank is coming in. GX has walked through lobby, and he's going to be behind them. GX. Wants to take them down. Smoke on a bomb. He comes charging around. It's being defused. Hack onto the player with the doolies, but he can't quite kill him. He's got to get the reload off. Time ticking away. Kills onto him. Oh, the knife takes him down. Oh my god. GX has been skanged. But Sinners will jump straight back on the bomb. And they will get the pistol that they needed. And then you hope at the end the distance is close enough that you're able to pick it up. That's no playing close. They don't clear him. He does shoot on the first. He's going to be able to pick up the second. Can GX oh. trade it with the off? He can't. Zedko close outside. Gets three. Zedko coming in like a tornado. Blowing them all away. But Sonofsky will play oh. back with the AK. Two CTs hit the DECK. And one flat throw he spotted out towards Ven. Oh. He drops down and he's pushing up almost instantly. Bomb's going to be planted. That's a fight. Lots of damage done. Oh, Synopsy. He's so close to death. He's expecting oh. the face. Hits oh. the first, nearly the second as well. It looked like it was going to happen. But Shock will stop it. He kills up on T Red. It should be a free kill. That's the first. GX goes down. No room for the oh. but the door opens. Synopsy swings in. Cause and effect. There's two CTs are now deceased. And it's just on Zedko and Shock to pick up the pieces. And they are going to have to save them. Altov is going to push them back. They do have two kits, the one smoke on shock. If they do decide to go for this, they do have some utility. But overall, this is going to be one where you're just, you're just not going to be able to. Be grabbed by Bad News Eagles. They just need two more. No, he hasn't. Shock's going to drop here to rig on unless something crazy happens. And surely not this time. Surely not again. Rig on. He's close. He's waiting for the timing. He's going to swing out. He gives away the spot, but he does land the headshot. 30 HP for him. Molotov drops into hell. And now they need to watch this. They need to be wary. It's B-Stick at the vent. Neil Frank's in the sight, and he's going to drop. He pushes out. Rig on looking for his third of the round, and he gets it. Massive play by the Swiss. And there it is with GX. Off shot lands. Zedko 1v4. Can he do something ridiculous? No. One flat throw ends it right there. 15 to 6, and map point finally going the way of Bad News Eagles. And All three of them fall to the flank of Rigon. The round is secured, and they just need one more to take us to Inferno. And that's where GX wants to go as he is gunning them down. Smooth assassinations on the AWP outside. And Shock and 4Z are the last two CTs even kicking into round 22. This map pick for Sinners has not gone the way they expected. Of course, he's finally able to get one back, but it is just the one. The T's have so much map control, too. They're towards Hell. There's one outside of Main. Shock is trying to respond with this aggressive push, but GX finds Forcey. It's the one versus four, and Shock is going to drop. So BNE, despite losing their map pick, answer back decisively. 16 to 6. You can hear the excitement. You can hear them cheering each other on. The apple crumble that your nan would bake. Shock. He's dead. So is Forzy. First two frags go the way of Bad News Eagles. And this is not exactly how you want to kick off a CT pistol here for Sinners. Zedko, in a boiler, hearing all of this, peeks up, takes a stab in the dark, and hits the first head onto GX. Sees the second as well, and that's actually the bomb that's just dropped into pit. So he's got info in the round. His teammates are pushing back up towards quad. Synopsy's tagged down to just 14. This is messy. He's so low and oh, he, the reposition. 
Perfect. Finds the kill. He knows that B-Stick is nearby. Now he does have the kit. He has a flash, but he doesn't see the man under the porch. And Juan Flatro makes it a little bit tight, a little bit dangerous. But in the end, he does find the kill. Synopsis. He's expecting the fight to come towards him. And Zedko is there. Looks like they want to flash him back in. Oh, clears onto the first. Spam on the second. Switches to the Glock for the third frag. But he will fall to Neo frag as he takes him down. Galil running in for GX. Oh, Deagle no. to the hands of B-Stick. But he won't be able to stick it to them. Are holding for him now. Shadow's gonna give him away, but he lands the headshot. If he gets the second, the other player's nowhere near. Rigon, bottom middle, and Shock's crossed over. He hasn't spotted it, and Rigon's not making noise. He may have heard him. He's peeking out. Oh, oh, can't land the kill. Rigon with the flick gets the final frag onto Shock. There's a third man even going to CT spawn. This fake has worked perfectly. There's three inside of halls, and there's one man here to stop them. That's Zedko. Gets the first, tucks away. Bomb is spotted, and Forcey with the op is the one to come in and save the day. And B stick founds the kill over towards B as well. So it is sinners now. The, f the, the fake worked perfectly. They pulled the rotations over, but they just weren't able to get the man inside of pit cleared out. So an obviously, he's just tiptoeing his way up. He's going to be spotted, and there's a good adjustment for the CT. So it all falls onto Rigom. He's had four kills already, and that's his fifth now off the back of the headshot. No, this is a player in pit from the spam, but he's just on three HP. He can't take any more damage in this round. And that's not going to happen. Filling on a brim towards the top of Banana. That's the CT smoke. Wide swing from Neo Frag. Large tag, but not a kill off the back of him. He's now mollied off as well. So he's got to sit deep towards Garden. Whilst B Stick's just spamming into the smoke. Oh. Gets the opening pick. Synopsy with a trade. And it's down to the 3v3 on the retake. Massive kill to find that one as B Stick. He gets his second of the round. The aggression from Sennery, not expected from B-Stick. And look at how long the rotations are. They're so far away. The X was going to have a freebie. No, he misses the shot. And Shock lands the headshot onto him. He's pushing forward now. They're pushing in. They're scaling. They do have the kit on Shock. They know Sennery was close towards back haul, but he still gets one more. Doesn't need to face, doesn't need to swing, but he doesn't care. He swings early. He peeks out. He lands the headshots. And Sennery for the Bad News Eagles, getting them their first gun round. Counter smoke towards top middle. They deny the information, but they're here. They're in the B site. Molotov is dropped. And the swing out from Neo Frag, he gets the double. He's looking for more. He sees the head of Juan Flatro, and he takes his head. Three kills for Neo Frag, as it is just GX and Synopsy now. They're working in. They're walking forward. They're playing around the smokes. They do still have the cover. And can Synopsy find anything? He's tucked away. Oh, he's been spotted. Spotted the CT, been spotted himself. And Neo Frag with his four. Can he get the ace? He can. It's been denied. And now for GX, it's all about just taking the guns out of their hands. Smoke shots as well, where he couldn't even see them. Just lined it up. Pulled the trigger and ended their lives. It's just at the cusp, the very bottom. And he's walking in behind them. He wants to slaughter them all. He can line this up. Trigger discipline on point, finds the first, hard commits for the second frag. And that is a massive multi-kill for Nick. Bait here. Do they clear it? Rigon is pushed up close, gets the first. He's not going to expect the man inside of the arch. That is Neo Frag. First, he's pushed down mid, getting kills. Now he's all the way back in CT spawn. And a crucial miss from Forcey. He drops. Got to go God mode. He's playing behind the pillar. They want to keep him together. Lines up the first, tries to get the adjustment off onto Shock towards Banana. But he will be able to clean up. He's pushing oh. down Banana, but it's a double kill. Two frags going away in a tease. Neo frag replies with an aggressive spray. Senori does trade it, keeping himself in the game. Has a HE in the hands of Shock as well. They're going to nade into the site over towards the normal plant. What? Apparently, Shock's just spammed the smoke and got the kill. Close towards Garden, GX is here, but he's going to be left feeling ill. You would have imagined from the Orphi, but no, he gets the double off. And that is a huge momentum swing. Ooh, and I thought they might boost over the smoke. Yeah, they're going to. The MP9 was in the open at times. Smoke's going to come in towards Coffin. They're trying to make the peek out. Counter smoke is good, but rig on season before it blooms. So Neo Frag drops. It is just B-Stick inside of the site now. They know where he is. He's by himself. He doesn't have help, but Forcey's flash is going to work to perfection. He's come through CT spawn. B-Stick does drop. Three versus three, but they haven't given up control of backhauls. Forcey's still here with the AWP. Oh, Forcey with a flick. Takes down Sennery. 2v3. Still need to get the bomb planted.
Time slowly but surely to move away. Rigon repositioning whilst his teammate dies before his very eyes. He's beaten being seen through the smoke, but he hits the headshot onto Zedko. Paranoid about the fight from Banana, but it's a wide swing towards Garden. Forcey clears the coffins, and his teammate's rotating off. He's gone back towards the A site. Now they realize that Rigon's still here. The bomb couldn't be seen oh. from the angle it was in. He grabs the bomb, needs to go for the plant. He's worried about the face from CT, but Forzi refaces. And it does go six to six, the coach with relief there. The flashes is short, so that's where they're going. They're grouping up. They need to get these flashes right, though. Make sure you blind that player inside of the site. They are going to throw these flashes over. Now the question is, is it going to blind Zedko, or is it going to be too far to the left? Zedko, with crystal clear vision, hits the first onto Synopsy. The sideline attack from Shock, and we've just 10 seconds left. Oh. It's up one flat throw! He goes nuclear! Two clean kills, bombs being planted. Suddenly, a round out of nothing. And Juan Flatro, he wants even more. He wants to be the death dealer here. He's got backup from GX towards the balcony. Bullets through the box, tag up Juan. The three players re-aggressing, two of them, towards library. Oh, they hit shot. the shot on the GX, and it's all down to Juan for the eighth. Can't hit the head, will be overwhelmed, and Sinners get the eighth round. Blind, look at this, they're going fast. They're running through the molly smoke to put it out. The trade is instantly there. Juan Flatro is going to get this bomb down, and it's the last round of the half. You can't save, and Synopsis lurked into CT. Ready for the rotate. What's he doing? He fires off the shots. I mean, maybe he thought he got the kill for the headshot. So Zeko, he runs down. Oh my God. They get the kill, and now it's all on Synopsy. Miles away from the action. They're already defusing the bomb. He's got to run through the smoke. He will do just that, but the problem is it's being watched by Shock, and Sinners get the ninth round. How? Take A and go into B, but that's their only smoke, so they're not going to have one for CT. No flash, no smoke for the B site. Shock gets the opening. Then he finds a second. He can't want flash or trades it. But all the CTs, they're over at A. They don't need a CT smoke. There's nobody there. The fake has worked to absolute perfection. They're going to get into the site. They're going to be able to get the bomb plant. Forcey's pushed up. He has the T250. Lands the first headshot. Now he's just calling for backup. Won't need it. Seven, he's seen them. He's got the information he needed. Throws down the smoke. Flash over the top. He's still running in with a max 10. He's a bit of money. Drop on a headshot. Cleans up with the Galil. And there's a backstab from B stick as well. The max 10 making money. But he missed it. It bounced off the wall. So it was just completely ineffective. He's here. This HG could be massive, but it might have gone in a little bit too early. Peek off the back of it over Senery, and he slaughters three of them. Senery the scalpel makes an incision on Banana, and he wants to close it down. That's the ace. And a huge ace for him as well. Peeking out from first, sprays down all of them as they swing around the corner. And the question is, will Rigon be a big bruiser from Balcony, or will he be left looking like a loser? The HG goes round, and that's a massive amount of damage. He drops into pit as well, and now things are changing. The round is looking good for BNE. Juan Flatro on the headshot angle towards the bomb site, looking for the opening pick, but Rigon will do all of the damage for the team. GX wields the orb like a shotgun, strikes first, and takes down the second as well. Now and it looks like it's going to be the B fake, and they're actually coming back to mid. It's going to be GX here. GX and Juan Flatro tucked away under quad. He finds the first frag. Can he get another one? He can. That's the bomb drop. There's one man lurking towards Halls, but he's not going to be close enough to respond. And the double short setup, finding the frags. They got the kills at B as well. And Forcey now just going to try to hold on to his gun. The round's done. B and E, they get to 10. They close the gap to just two. Forzi hoping that he doesn't go down after time. Leaves the door open. Juan Flatro runs in. They now have clocked on to exactly where he is. One second. Goes down just before time. No, it w no, he didn't. No, it was no. one second on the clock. Yeah, yeah, I know. Flash is good. Rig on. Swings out. Shock finds the kill. They're going to scale forward. They know he's the pit player, but can Juan Flatro do anything huge from the site? Oh, Synopsy on the drive-by will be able to shake down Shock. What? Juan Flatro gets a frag as well, and Synopsy lands the headshot onto Neo Frag. Down to the 2v2 with 40 seconds on the timer. Juan Flatro dropping the hardcore parkour as he hits the head of 4Z and B-Stick. He certainly wants more out of this. Lines up one, throws onto the second, says goodnight to Senery, and Sinners get sent to 13. The opposition. 
waiting on the cusp. Here's the audio cue. Goes for the face, but shock. Prime on the response. Hits the headshot. Zenery will catch the rotation towards Arch. And we're still in a four versus four with 35 seconds on the clock. Time ticking away. Rigon dashes the smoke so he can peek on the back of the bike. Needs to win out on his fight towards Balcony here. He's a prime player and he will be able to hit one onto B-Stick. Needs more impact. Slow development. Trade frag back from Neo. What? Zedko on the site. Hits the head of one. But the bomb's dropped on the balcony. And they don't have much time. They've got to scale up and go for the kills on this. He's just toying with them. Dancing back and forth. Six seconds. They go for oh. the bomb plant. He's been able to make it to the site. GX left in a 1v2. Spots the first. Misses the shot. Grabs the AK. And it's all down to this. One versus two now. They know where he is. He's given away the spot. Sinners somehow managed to recover that bomb and get it planted. He's repositioned. He's walking up short. He's looking for them. The crossfire is in. This is going to be almost impossible. Has to land the instant headshot on the player in the pit. Doesn't do it. Shots missed from both sides. He scales forward, looks up into the sight, but it's not going to be enough. Zedko finds the kill, and he cannot pull it off. He cannot pull off the one versus two. 25 seconds left on the clock. Push coming to shove. Synopsy with the initial fate. Spammers on Zenery. Gonna hit the head of Forzy and Beast. It trades it back with the AK. They don't have time. They don't have time for this. They're running back to A. They just don't have the time. There's 12 seconds left. Yeah, you just have to save. Oh, what no. a weird round. They've realized their mistake, but it's too little too late. And there's no opportunity to find the frags onto the CTs either. B sticks at the A site, but they're all so far apart. So the round's gone. We and they're walking in. And yeah, you can see Synopsy realized his mistake. He's immediately running back. He does have the utility the player in sight didn't have. So this utility is going to be absolutely huge into this round. Oh, he's seen the arm. Synopsy with a read, dashes the smoke instantaneously. But that's a huge tag. 17 HP. The smoke's on the side, but it's a stalemate. No one's pushing in. Time's ticking down once again. GX with a frag over at A. Centenary backstabbing from first. Oranges, he's turning the round into a fruit salad as everyone falls over. The Neo frag gets a pick. Nine seconds left. The bomb needs to be planted. GX fires off the shot, but it won't land. Oh. They missed again. Forzy falls because of it. Synopsy gets given the round on a silver platter. The off, but there's two men coming. They're gonna have the four man B play. Smokes to isolate though, and they're gonna be splitting A site. One Flatro with a gap in the smoke. Shot into the back as well by Library. They're gonna smoke up. One takes a bit of damage. He's down to 51. Synopsy with the first frag onto Zedko. Leaves him looking like Zedko. Synopsy slays everyone with the AK. And that's the 15 picked up. Bad news Eagles will snatch it. They erupt in excitement. <laughs> and one Flatro is like, boys, it's not over yet. Calm it down. Don't get too excited. Wow, he has just been going wild into these past few rounds. And again here, it looks to be an A play. Rigon gets one and then falls. Juan Flatro playing behind the hay bales. Will he have a haymaker to knock out the tease? He will. Lands the right hook on Zedko. Three versus three. Win this round and win the ticket to the major. No. Big spam, but Juan Flatro closes it down. It's all on the major. <laughs>